Let's talk about how you license cover songs so that you can legally distribute them to stores like Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, etc. So I've released cover songs to the internet for years. Started putting them up on YouTube back in 2011, and every time I put them on YouTube, I also would put them on iTunes. And now that Spotify and Apple Music are a thing, I make sure that I distribute my cover songs there as well. So how do you do this? How do you do this legally? Well, when you release a cover song, you need something called a mechanical license. A mechanical license enables you to legally put the song up into stores. The mechanical license is so that it pays the songwriters of the song to make sure that they get their fair share. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about how you obtain these licenses, what's the best way to do this, what does the process look like? So I do this one of two ways. The first way is if you use a distributor like DistroKid, they will actually help you purchase your cover song license through them. If you check the box that says this is a cover song, they'll charge you 12 bucks a year. And with that $12, they'll make sure you have your mechanical license. And then every time your song generates royalties, they will pay the songwriters on your behalf. You don't have to think about it. It's very easy. Like I said, $12 a year, it's not that big a deal. Um, if you've never used DistroKid before, you can use the link in my description. It'll save you 7% on your membership. Um, I'm a big fan of them, and you can use them for distributing cover songs very easily. Now, if you use another distributor that doesn't handle cover song licensing, that doesn't do the mechanical licensing, like STEM, they do not do that for you. But what they do is they say, you can distribute a cover song through us, you just have to buy the mechanical license, show it to us, and then we will release your song to stores for you. But they put the burden on you to do that. So in this video, we're gonna go through that process how you actually can buy the mechanical license yourself so that you can show it to your distributor and release a cover song. So the easiest way to do this is easysonglicensing.com. Now, this is not a sponsored video. This is literally just a resource I've used for a decade now, and it's very helpful, it's very easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how you use their site right now to buy this mechanical license. So, I'm on their site, easysonglicensing.com. You just scroll down here, clear cover songs. It's right here, clear a song and then you do clear a cover song, and then there's my address, so I'm gonna block that out in the editing, because I don't want y'all to know where I live. Uh, confirm and continue, and then here's where you need to fill things in. So, I just did a cover of Jesse McCartney's song, Leaving. And so you put that right here, here's the name of the single, it's called Leaving. This is actually the title that you're gonna call it. So, I'm gonna call it Leaving, and it's actually an acoustic version, so I'm just gonna call it Leaving Acoustic. And then the album artist, it's me and my friend Madeline, so I put our names here, then you need to fill all of this in. The progress, is it a finished recording? Is it still recording, still playing? Finished recording, when is it coming out? It's coming out in February. Release year, 2021. And then you come down here and I'll do digital downloads. And for this, the minimum you can buy is 25. Now, if you look at your track record, you can see how many downloads do you normally get when you release a cover song? If it's not much, just do 25, that's the basic. And you can always re-up, you can always add more, and they actually give you a discount when you re-up and you purchase more, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. I will say though, if you normally get thousands of downloads, maybe put a thousand or a few thousand, you definitely wanna buy the downloads before they happen. So I wanna buy these 25 before those 25 are purchased from me. You don't wanna be selling songs that you don't have a license to. So if anything, go a little bit over, but I just know my track record, the way that iTunes is these days, I'm not really selling that many downloads, so I'll just do the minimum and I'll keep up to date on it. And whenever it goes, or it's getting close to going over, I'll purchase more just so I'm on top of it. Now, something very interesting that I'm sure many of you um, aren't aware of, and this is something I didn't know initially, but here it says interactive audio streams. Now, you would assume that's for Spotify or Apple Music, but that is not the case. That's actually for if you wanna stream the song on your own personal website, so if you have like a, like if I put it on landonaustin.com and it's like my website and I wanna put a cover song that you can just play on my site, that's what that is for. It's for those licensings. So the crazy thing is Spotify and Apple Music actually pay songwriters on your behalf. So when you cover a song and put it on Spotify, a portion of the royalties generated from that cover song are withheld and given to the songwriters from Spotify. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about dealing with the mechanical royalties. Spotify is gonna do that for you. Apple Music is going to do that for you. 
So when you're purchasing this mechanical license, you really just need it for the digital downloads because iTunes won't do that or other stores that handle downloads typically will not pay the songwriters. You need to do that in advance by buying a mechanical license. So you hit save and continue. And then here you put the song title, the original title. So the original title was Leaving. The original recording artist was Jesse McCartney. And then this is the length of my cover. Now, I don't know what it is offhand, but I'll just say 306. And then you do add and finish. And then here you can review everything. You can see your contact info, the release info, and then you hit submit. And then lastly, you can check out here. Now they have this thing called the seal of authenticity. This is so that you can prove that you have a mechanical license. I don't typically purchase this. It's really not, um, I don't think it's really necessary, but if that's something you wanna do so that you can put it up on your site or whatever, that's your own thing. And then you check out and they will mail you your mechanical license. It normally takes like a day or two and you are covered. And then you can show this to your distributor, show them that you have a license to release this cover song. But real quick, I'm gonna show you how you can get your cover license on DistroKid. I've done this before in a video, but since we're back on the topic, it never hurts to refresh on it. You open up your DistroKid right here, you hit upload and this page will come up. You select all the stores you wanna to go to. This is very basic. Fill all this in, very basic. None of this is relevant right now for the cover song license. But where it is relevant is right here. Who wrote the song? Here we go, another artist wrote it. It's a cover song. Then you put this in. So we'll say we're doing the Jesse McCartney song. Original artist, put his name in. Original song title was leaving. And then this is very important. This track does not sample or remix another artist's recording. I've gotten a lot of emails about this topic. You can't use someone else's sound recording when you make a cover song. You can't take um, someone's pre-recorded song and then just sing over it and say, hey, that's my cover song. When you make a cover song, you have to start from scratch on the recording. You can't use someone else's whatever. You may, I've never done this myself, you may be able to license like a karaoke track. That's really kind of up to you guys to figure out, Google around. I'm sure there's someone out there licensing karaoke tracks for this. I've actually had people reach out to me and ask if they can license some of my cover tracks and use them to release covers. and. On certain occasions I've done that, but it's not really my thing. But the point being, don't sample other people's sound recordings. You can cover their song when they release it. You're like, I like this song, I'm gonna re-record this and release it. But don't take someone else's recording and sing over it or add to it. That's gonna get you in trouble, so don't do that. So it says, this track does not sample or remix anyone else's recording. That's another thing. You can't remix someone's song and release it as a cover song. That's not gonna fly either. Okay, I think I've got that point across. You come down here, you check all these boxes, and you hit done. It's that easy. So, just so you know. And like I said, if you wanna use DistroKid, save 7% on your account, use my referral code. It's really an awesome distributor. But that is it, thank you for watching. I am Landon Austin. I put a link to easysonglicensing.com down in my description. Um, you can use that to go license cover songs. Also check out my DistroKid link. That'll give you um, some major savings there as well. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.